Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about distraction techniques. Uh, home grooming is very important to your dog, um, so it should be quite a relaxed experience for both you and the dog and should be seen as a bonding experience. Uh, however, if you've got a dog or a puppy that doesn't like being brushed or they're not really used to it, then this video will help you out. Um, so in front of me, I've got some uh, lovely toys that they can play with that will distract them whilst you groom them. Uh, we've got some treats, some chews and a calming spray that I'll be demonstrating today. So I'd like to talk about chews. Uh, they're really, really good for cleaning the teeth and they're also really good at keeping your dog quiet for a little while. It keeps them quite content. Um, so Fizz's favourite are rabbit ears. Uh, you can get these from JR Pet Products. Um, other chews I would recommend from there are chicken feet, uh, fish pieces. Um, obviously you need to make sure you get the right size for your dog as some dogs do like to swallow bits whole so just be really really careful um, so these are quite short lasting but you can get longer lasting ones such as deer hide rolls they do really smell though so you might want to use those outside So the next product I want to talk about is the Licky Mat. Uh, these are very similar to Kong's rubber snakes and other feeding toys or food dispensers. Um, these are really good distractions um, for when you're brushing your dog or doing anything else to your dog that they might not necessarily tolerate otherwise. Um, so I like to fill these with uh, peanut butter. This one is actually called Mutt Butter. I bought it from Amazon actually, and there's nothing nasty in the ingredients, unlike other shop bought peanut butters. Um, you can use other uh, treats such as uh, banana. You can just mash it up and spread it across the licky mat. Um, you can use oh, um, fat-free yogurt. and uh, You can also use cream cheese. Um, I find the best way is to spread these on the licky mat or inside the Kong, whatever food, uh, dispenser you've got, uh, put them in the freezer overnight and then you can give it to the dog and it'll last a lot longer. These also work as really good treats in the summer as well, it's a very good way of keeping your dogs cool. Um, so a really useful tool that I find that helps with dogs that get quite stressed about being groomed is the uh, Anti-Anxiety and Fear Spray from Caroline Ingraham. Uh, this was recommended to me by a really lovely trainer uh, called Caroline Wilkinson from Rough Hounds Dog Training. Um, you literally just spray a little bit around the house, maybe put a tiny bit on your hands, just rub it in on the top of the head or the chest, um, on the bedding, wherever you're going to be working. And the ingredients are really, really natural too. So this is really, really calming and relaxing. I've had really good results with this in the salon with dogs that often don't really tolerate me grooming them. They soon become quite relaxed and let me do what I need to do to them then. Uh, another good uh, food dispensing toy is the snuffle mat. You might have seen these advertised online in quite a few places. Um, I find them really good distractions and they're also really good brain games as well for dogs because I know a lot of them might be quite bored during the quarantine at the moment. You can't really go out anywhere at the moment. Uh, so it's a very good fun toy to keep them busy indoors and it keeps their brain active too. Um, I find using the Nature's Menu Treats are really handy for this. Um, sometimes with these sorts of uh, periods, such as when you're trying to brush your dog, it might be better to use more higher value treats. So I would highly recommend cheese, cocktail sausages, um, always check the ingredients first as well to make sure there's nothing that your dog is allergic to before you feed it to them. So if you struggle to groom your dog on your own, 
you can ask a family member or a friend to help restrain your dog. Um, so all they would need to do is either, if you have a small dog, they can hold the dog in their arms for you. Um, or if you have a big dog like mine, you can just stand them up, have your friend supporting them underneath uh, one arm between the front legs and one under the belly. Or if they are quite a foodie like fizzes, you can have somebody distracting them with a tube of liver paste, peanut butter, something that they can lick so they're not thinking about what the other person is doing. And all that can be happening whilst you're grooming them. video uh, follow us on all the socials give us a like on facebook and follow us on instagram